Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Kruger here, and today I brought back my bestest of friends, Omar Torres. Hey guys! You guys thought you'd get rid of me, yeah. didn't ya? Me well, I'm back. You might remember him from my best friend tag video. Thanks. We are glad to have you back. So there's been a lot of talk in the media recently about this one little pill, this one little pill called PrEP. It is a little blue pill that is saving lives. Yes, it's absolutely. Saving lives. I think so. I had really no idea what PrEP was before I started to get on it, and I had so many questions about it. So I thought Omar, who specializes in people, HIV care, yeah, people who are positive with HIV, he works at GMHC, which is Gay Men's Health Crisis in New York. It's the first and largest AIDS organization, right? So Omar knows all about this stuff. Yeah, why don't you tell us what exactly PrEP is? So PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. PrEP is a one-a-day pill that, when taken as prescribed, can actually dress reduce the likelihood of you contracting HIV. Major. What you're saying is if I start taking PrEP and I'm HIV negative that I will not become positive if I'm on this pill and I have sex with someone who is positive. So you brought up a couple of good points. So one, in order to use PrEP you do have to be HIV negative, right? And PrEP is considered a harm reduction method so it reduces the risk of someone contracting HIV if they're engaging in condomless sex, let's say, or if the condom breaks and the person you're having sex with is HIV positive. So it reduces the risk, it doesn't eliminate the risk. So recently I read a study that a group of gay men went through a trial and while all of these gay men were on the trial of PrEP, none of them became positive. Yes, so that's actually accurate. So there was a group of men, and I believe the study was done in San Francisco. They had a group of gay men, all on PrEP. And after about, I want to say, two or three years, what they found was that nobody in the group uh, contracted HIV while on PrEP. That's pretty great. Yeah, it's and awesome. So like, is there a more scientific number that doctors have been giving out? Yes, yeah, so the current research suggests that PrEP reduces the likelihood of someone contracting HIV by about 94-96%. So really, really close to 100. That's amazing. Yeah, it's great. When I was single and having sexy time, I was also worried not just about contracting HIV, but about other STDs as well. Right. Can PrEP protecting from other STIs or anything? So PrEP is only used to prevent someone from contracting HIV. So if you're on PrEP, it is still highly encouraged that you use condoms in order to protect against uh, other STIs. What's the point? I know, what a <laughs> waste. <laughs> no, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, when I went to my doctor, we did HIV, testosterone, we did the whole thing. Full like, screening. He put me through the whole thing. That's a good doctor. That's the kind of doctor that you want to work with, someone that's going to do a full screening and make sure that they get a baseline of where you are physically. And also, my doctor is also very gay friendly and I felt really safe talking to him about sex and talking to him about like the type of intercourse I was engaging in, what I was scared about. Right. I, want, I felt comfortable asking all these questions to him too. Yeah. So make sure that you get a doctor that you feel really comfortable and about talking about all this stuff that doesn't shame you for having any type of intercourse, that is a very sex positive type of doctor that you feel comfortable with. It's so important to be able to have an honest and frank conversation with your doctor about your sexual behavior, so that way you get all the information that you need, and that way you can make an informed decision, which is really what this is all about, right? It's just having all the information and then making a decision based on that and what works best for you. Because what works best for you may not work best for, you know, lots of other people. So you might find it important to start a PrEP treatment, but someone could certainly make a case for not going on PrEP, and that's okay too. But it's better if you do. <laughs> We're just gonna shame ya. <laughs> anyway. Now that I'm on PrEP, I just started PrEP. Like, what kind of can I be looking out for for symptoms, and what is my, like, day gonna look like with my medication? So PrEP is a one-a-day pill, and that means that you're gonna wanna have a schedule that you stick to in terms of your regimen, right? So if you take it in the morning, you wanna take it in the morning every day. So the symptoms tend to be very mild, and they don't tend to last very long. So I've heard amongst my friends people like making jokes about the stigma around PrEP. 
yeah. about that only people who have sex a lot should be on PrEP. Right. Do you think that that's true? That is absolutely not true. So again, PrEP could be for anybody from someone who's in a monogamous relationship with someone who is HIV positive, someone who is single and does have an active sex life, which is also fine. PrEP is also used for intravenous drug users because that is a cohort or a population of folks that are at risk for contracting HIV. One of the common questions that comes up whenever I'm talking to somebody about starting a PrEP regimen is, uh, is PrEP a cure for HIV? And the answer is no, it's a prevention method, but it is not a cure. Okay guys, so I hope that this video is very helpful in you on to understanding what PrEP is. And thank you Omar so much for coming and talking to us about it in your own house. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> and um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about this or whatever, make sure you talk to your doctor. And if you wanna follow Omar on Instagram, you can follow him on Instagram and see all his fun Buffy the Vampire posts. <laughs> and I'm gonna put his, um, Instagram handle right here. And then you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter too at Kyle Kruger Hair for a lot of nude selfies. And that's it.